So these are the pieces that I'm getting out of my death pile today. Hello, love. If you've been with me for a while, you know that I've gotten myself into a little bit of a sourcing problem and not as much into an inventorying problem. Now, I'm not saying that these items aren't listed, but I'm saying I have piles and piles and piles of stuff all over that I am just waiting to haul. So here we are with these hauls. These clothes specifically are from Flip. Now, I am somebody who just kind of runs head first into something, not looking any else direction, and I go and I'm kind of obsessive over it. So right now, of course, that thing for me is flip. So I've been getting flip flop after flip flop after flip flop, and this is one of the hauls or one of the lots that I am going to show with for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pulling them out, let you know what I got here. This is an anthropology see you soon dress. This has the tag completely on it. This was $44 to begin with. I got the uh, floral, I guess, brown shirt dress that I have there. This is another see you soon piece, it has the tag. This one does not have the price on it at all. It does have the tag. Again, it's floral, more of like primary colors, white, red, blue, kind of sheer. These are locked jeans. These are size 28 or six. The cream, they're almost like jagging feeling. They're very, very stretchy skinny jean or jegging, I would say. These are Magalyn shorts. I think I got shorts somewhere of this in a thread up box as well. But these, I think that the other ones sold too for around $20, so I have high hopes for these ones. We have a J. Crew top that has kind of the bell or flare sleeves. Obviously this needs to get steamed. This is zero petite. A sports bra, it is pink and it is also pink or purple. This is size small. I would say it's in good condition. I wouldn't say it's in excellent condition though. I will say that the person I'm consigning with definitely was a smoker everything smells like smoke. So I'll probably end up actually washing this stuff before I send it out. Cause then I don't want my buyers to think that it came from a house that smokes. Cause I know a lot of people are sensitive to that. So I will definitely wash these. I will actually kind of keep an eye on who is putting clothes up to. And if this particular person puts clothes up again, I might not get from them because of that smoke smell. I wouldn't say these are bad clothes, but sometimes that smell of smoke really, really sticks in the clothes. And the last thing I got, I believe it's Sea Folly is how you pronounce it. It's a cute swimsuit, has the tag on it. This was originally $122. It is a size six. These, the ones that have new tags, I, I probably won't end up washing them. I will probably try to just steam them really good and try to suck some of that smell out. If you have any way to get scent out of clothes without actually washing them, I would love to hear about it. That was, of course, the last thing from this lot. Flip gives you 90 days to sell items, but after a certain amount of time, it says, hey, you haven't made any sales. You might want to think about lowering the prices, and it's all about communication between you and the person that you are consigning with. So these items have been listed for about a month, and they have not sold yet. So of course, I'm communicating with the person I'm consigning with, telling them I'm starting to drop the prices, I'm asking them if they don't want me to go below a certain price. That person pretty much said, I trust you. I am willing to go as low as we need to go. So I'm just going to slowly start lowering the price. 
on all the platforms that I am on and just kind of see where that takes us. Now the real work takes place now. After I end this video, I'm going to clean and inventory these pieces. Please, if you're watching this video in future time, hold me accountable. Ask me if I've actually followed through with that because I am truly trying to work my way out of this stuff pile. If you have not yet subscribed and you'd want to follow that journey, see updates and continue to learn and grow together, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, give me a like and I will see you in the next one.